Hey, well, welcome back to the one and only Studio One, and we're joined in the kitchen by the one and only Suzanne Husseini. Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> it's good Thanks to see you. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Lovely to be here. Well, right, it's, so. it's good news that you're here because I'm starving. You're starving. Yeah. Good. We're going to get you busy because you never do anything, Tom. Yeah, he does. Oh, no. I'm going to make you work. Most of the things, oh, no. Yes. <laughs> Onions. All right. That looks good. And then all these lovely spices. Marjoram. Okay. Flower petals. Cumin. And all spice and cinnamon. And all this goes into. Uh, it's going to go into the mixture of oh my wow. kibbe. I'm making kibbe today. Start working. Flexing those uh, muscles, uh, sir. I, I was, but God, <laughs> knock him out. See what he had me doing? He's tired after all the work. Right. Can you do this with the viper or not? <laughs> all right, easy, Tom. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm going to mush some Whoa. garlic. Yeah, yeah, I gotta put some flour. Come on, Suzanne. I need that. I need that to be like a paste. I'm going to be making kibbe today, and this okay. is a uh, traditional Arabic food that you probably know as fried. It usually right. looks oblong, yep. but this one I'm, I'm baking. So You're it's baking. essentially the same thing, but I'm going to bake it in the oven, okay? This is mashed garlic. So that makes it, what, more healthy? Well, yeah, I mean, you're, you know, cutting down on the oil. Yeah, because yeah. the traditional one, I believe, is Would be fried. fried yeah. yeah, but there's all many, there's so many versions of kibbe. This is just one of them, baked. All right. But I've the recipe stands the same, just the fact that it's yes. been baked. Yes, yes. Put okay. some muscle in there, Tom. I need that to be a paste. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> there's no such thing as a free lunch, is there, eh? No, not in my kitchen. I've already feng shui'd my kitchen oh, here. Wow. Everything is in order. All right. I've put some yogurt, <laughs> garlic, and these are chopped cucumbers for my salad. See, I'm multitasking, another thing wow. that women do well. That's okay. nice. I'm not yes. arguing. I'm not arguing. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just grinding. And kibbe okay. is a very nice quick snack because that's what yes. we have when we, when we don't have time to sit down for a proper meal and you just want to grab something real quick and just chew it down. Oh, so. it's wonderful. And it's a, it's a wonderful dish because you can eat it cold the following day as well. Right. I'm chopping some mint and this is going to go into my salad. So voila, my salad is ready. Put it aside. Are you finished yet, Tom? Um, I don't know. What's it, how how, how, how fine do you want him. it? <laughs> I've made really fine, like a oh, paste. Okay. Yeah, this is the one. filling that I've made that I've already sautéed with onions, some meat, and I am going to put in a little bit of sumac, and there's already spices in here, okay. a little bit of pomegranate molasses, okay? And I'm going nice, to yeah. add my jewels, as you know, the pomegranate that I put in for color. So this is ready, and it's cold, and it's going to be the filling for my and, kibbe. And, and this is what goes inside. Yes. I've but never I, known. I didn't know I've it had pomegranate known. inside. Oh, everything's got pomegranate, I tell you. Everything has pomegranate when, in my kitchen, yes. When, when the, All right. the, the jewels are out in force, aren't they? <laughs> That's right. I'm taking off my rings okay, first. Okay. All right. This is ground meat that is very, very lean. Lamb? All right, lamb. You could use beef as well. You can, can you? You can, absolutely. Okay. Then I'm going to take your paste that you've put in, and that's going to flavor that my looks meat. Good, doesn't it? Oh, it's delicious. And then this is no, good the one. Looks very oh, the good, paste looks yeah. perfect. Well, yeah. you have Perfect's about paste. three minutes to go. All right. So well, go I've got one it. ready. I'm just going through the process here, mm -hmm. just so that you see of course. how I'm going to make yeah. it. So that I'm going to incorporate great. the burgol inside the meat. Okay. Yeah. And without getting too technical, I get a pan. And I've only got three minutes, huh? Yep. I better get moving. Lesser now. <laughs> okay. No, no. You don't give me enough time to cook oh. here. No, it's, it's, <laughs> we it's put you to the test. <laughs> okay. So this essentially would be what I would do, all right? I would fill it with the filling. Wow. Okay. Okay. And I'm just doing a haphazard, quick no, way right, of right. doing you it. You show us how, how it all goes together. Yeah. yeah. And then, I mean, it would look a lot prettier than that. Then you cover it with another layer. All right? And then you bake it in the oven. All right? Oh, And I've got it. one already. All right. Hey, but Suzanne, talk to me here. Because yes. uh, when I go down to my, my local, and I order kibbe, um, yes. it always comes down in it, it's all sort of individually rolled. Oh, yeah, because those are different. Those are fried. I'm doing a baked version here. Oh, here it is. So Voila. it looks like a lasagna right now. I guess if you want to call it a lasagna, it's <laughs> baked kibbe. All right, I'm going to get you some plates. You know what? Oh, that looks good. That smells unbelievable. It is delicious. So how long are you leaving so it in the oven for? Uh, about, uh, for this size, probably about 15 minutes. No more. Okay. I'm going to cut it into ooh, nice triangles. Mm -hmm. Uh, talk to um, me, you've got plenty of time now, so no rush whatsoever. We can okay. probably get the other one going. Uh, okay. It's about two minutes to go. But All right. Just, to, just to, uh, for ideas of serving, you can serve for main course? You can serve You can serve it as a main course. It could be a nice lunch with a salad, which I've already made. Remember, I did it already here. Yeah. 
and this would be nice to serve along with it. Okay. Just here. And how long does it need to be baked for? How uh, long does it stay? This is about 20 minutes. About 20 minutes. minutes. Okay. A little okay. bit of jewelry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You really like pomegranates. <laughs> I really love pomegranates. <laughs> there you go. Oh wow. That looks nice. Forks and knives so are there. Thank you can boss. dig Tom in. To get the cutlery. Thank you, boss. Okay. He's being, a, he's being it's right here. I have it ready, Tom. Oh, wow. Look at <laughs> yeah. That. Multitasking again. Multitasking, hey? of course. I know. So that's basically the whole dish. Mm -hmm. So it's filled with meat and onions and spices, and of course the casing is also meat and cracked wheat and spices as well. Wow. It, it's an ingenious way of making precious meat go a long way. That's what kibbe is. Really. Because I haven't heard of baked kibbe before. So oh, is, no? this, is this like your traditional way of doing it or is it just like a personal May style I? of Oh yours? no, oh, please, Thank dig you. in, dig in, dig in. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's, it is a traditional dish, absolutely. And it can be made with fish, it can be made with pumpkin. There's all kinds of variations to this dish. Okay. In terms of, in terms of uh, like you said, the, the different variations, does it differ in terms of the country mm. you're in in the region or not? Um, well, yeah, different variations, different regions might add different spices, they might change the meat. Uh, you can also do a whole vegetarian version of this with potatoes mm. and fill it with onions and spices and spinach as well. What do you think? This is kibbe. What I like about this nice. one is that it, it tastes... Good. <laughs> it tastes a lot more Sahten. healthy. <laughs> yes. It tastes a lot more healthy and you don't feel like you, you're just being poured in with oil down your throat. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice way to eat this dish <laughs> without having to fry it. Very good. Tom, are you going to come to my big celebration on uh, Thursday, on Tuesday, May 3rd? <laughs> he's, he's high on kids. There's going to be a lot of that. <laughs> I'm launching my Arabic book. Wow. At Bloomingdale's. That nice. Yes. And that I welcome you and welcome everyone else to come Tuesday. For sure. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining us. Thanks so much us. indeed for that. That was delicious. You're very welcome. You're That's about try. all we have time for on tonight's episode. Our thanks to Suzanne, <coughs> to all of our guests tonight, and to you for watching. As always, need your ideas, just go to our Facebook page. Alternatively, you can watch uh, for previous episodes uh, on the website, dmi.ae forward slash 301.